Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here, and welcome back to my next part of Assassin's Creed. Let's continue Desmond and Altair's story. God damn it! What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something! How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Wonder if we can talk to Lucy here. No, we don't have an option to talk to her. Oh, wait, no, we do. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. Can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. It was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad. That he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes, here at Abstergo. Helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder... if they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nutjobs. But I'm alive. Anyway. I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. That's what's beautiful about Assassin's Creed 1, is there's all these, like, little conversations that you could have in the future. I didn't know about, I mean, or the modern times, I should say. I didn't know about this stuff. Like, when I first played this as, like, a kid, I didn't know you could do all this stuff. I would just always go to Desmond's room and just go to sleep. Aren't you tired? You're gonna find out who these people are later on. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Looks like some kind of access code. That's gonna come in handy later on. That code is gonna let us walk out, out and explore.
We can't really do anything here, but later on there's going to be a few things I believe that we can get here. Okay, let's go to sleep then. That red stuff is really creepy. I didn't know what that was. Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Those who came before. That's going to be important in later Assassin's Creed games. I think this... Yeah. Hi. This might be the part where you get to pickpocket Vidic. Let's see. Is it? Oh, I think it is. Okay, hang on. You can pickpocket him. I didn't even know you could do this. We'll take that for later. Now, yeah, that is that is something really cool that you could do. I never knew you could do that. Okay, let's go into the Animus now. Stop playing games, Mr. Miles, and lie down. Yeah, I just pickpocketed you. I think I'm I'm good now. <laughs> Continue. Okay, here we go. Ladders are a socially acceptable way to reach a rooftop. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this. And so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It will be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Dukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed. Arrogance. The slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. The conversations with Al Mualim are actually and very Jair, important. Take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. There's one thing that I noticed, um, I don't know if this is important, but 
if you notice at the end of that scene, Amwalamus stands at the window, just w looking out the window, and before we got in the Animus, Vidic was also standing outside the window. It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salah Adin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. But tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. Acquired a letter stating that the Merchant King is holding a festival within his palace. I'm so hungry. Altair, my friend, my brother. It's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No. How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I've heard a feather is lying on top of Abu Nukud's head. Maybe I could help you. But I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, two for me. They are Abu Nukud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. Okay, we gotta stealth assassinate these guards. Damn, these beg these beggars are can be annoying in this game. They follow you around and talk to you constantly about coins. You can't even give them coins in this game. Wasn't that great? Just like in Alep, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. Map showing the position of the Merchant King's guards. His kindness knows no bounds. Everything we now have, we have because of him. The Merchant King provides for one and all. He asks for nothing in return. Let his generosity serve as an example to us all. Everyone should strive to be as he. Okay, now we just gotta follow him to a discreet location. There's a lot of guards behind him also. You shouldn't be here. Be gone. Leave peasants before I beat you. Dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. A wise decision. What is it you want? I have business with the Merchant King. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? Not fear. Hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Locks himself away in his personal quarters out of shame. He can't stay hidden forever. No. No celebrations of his. He comes out to speak, to look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose, however brief. What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? You'll see. Now let me go. Let you go? 
So you can tell him of my plan? I won't say a thing. No, you won't. <laughs> The Merchant King will come out and speak to his people during the feast. Okay. Altair, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakud. Oh, the Merchant King of Damas. Richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. If you're finished, I this guy is really annoying. Required to begin my task. You work quickly. Tell me what you've learned. Abu Nakud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. I guarantee you he talks behind Altair's back. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. It's interesting how each of the Bureau leaders have their own personality. Strike the Merchant King when he comes out during his feast to speak with his people. Okay, let's go get him. There's the Merchant King. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your Satisfaction? Most excellent. Most excellent. Oh, yes. Most excellent. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salahadin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows this campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. You take me for a fool. But I have not heard the words whisper behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy. Tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you. Mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I've pledged myself to another cause. 
one that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. A pity none of you will live to see. <laughs> He's poisoned the fountain. This is what I liked about Assassin's Creed 1. They had scenes like this which introduced the target. Okay, let's get the Merchant King now. Man, this guy runs pretty fast. We got him. Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance, then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad dins cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. So that's the fourth target. Now we gotta get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay, we're almost there.
Okay, we pretty much lost our wanted level. me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Almualov then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. The target has been eliminated. Okay. So I guess we will um, wrap this up here, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.